Hi loves! Welcome back to Holistic Rihanna. I'm Rihanna and the next few videos that I post are probably just going to be super raw. I really want to document my journey navigating medical school and the process is absolutely just insane and it's it's been a lot. It's been a lot for me and I know that there are other people in my situation too and there probably will be in the future as naturopathic medicine um, interest grows. So yeah, I just want to share my journey just to document it for myself and for anyone who could possibly get any sort of insight or value or just know that they're not alone in this journey. So currently I am debating between going to naturopathic medical school or conventional medical school aka MD or DO school. So a few years back I was so set on going to MD school. I was like MDs are the best. I'm gonna be the best and I worked so hard in undergrad to make sure my grades were on top of it and uh, yeah I just slaved over my grades and Recently, I decided that I got this like intuitive feeling that I wanted to attend naturopathic medical school and I started doing all this research and talking to different students and faculty and going to orientations and I was like, yes, this is the place I belong, like this is my calling and I was so excited and so certain until randomly just a few days ago, I was looking up licensure and scope of practice and how they differ in different states and it's really unfortunate because naturopathic medicine is amazing they have the same curriculum as conventional medical school as far as anatomy and physiology and pharmaceuticals go yet still they are given just such a hard time in different states as far as laws go and so I was really looking up all of these naturopathic doctors in Michigan there's only like 33 and some of them are amazing like one went to U of M for their undergrad and master's program and one went to Yale and one went to Stanford and I was like okay this is awesome like I know that these people are smart and they still chose to go to naturopathic medical school yet in Michigan they can't even call themselves doctors they have to call themselves medical consultants which is basically kind of like a health coach it's it's a very uh, gray term that I really don't even fully understand, but yeah, they can't technically call themselves a physician here in the state of Michigan, and that makes me concerned because I don't think I want to end up in Michigan, but say I do, say I do. I don't know where I'll be in four years, right? Um, I couldn't call myself a doctor, and that's, to some people, you would... And you would think like, okay, it's just a title, who cares? But if you're gonna pay hundreds of thousands of dollars and go to school for four years, and not just any school, a very challenging, rigorous school, you wanna be able to call yourself as a dang doctor, right? <laughs> so, versus in Arizona, I could do everything an MD does as an ND, I could have my own practice and whatever. So, it's just, it's hard. It's it varies state by state and there's just not a lot of certainty and I just feel like the whole process of, of undergrad and then applying for medical school and then going to medical school there are so many uncertainties that the one thing that you kind of count on is once you graduate that there's gonna be certainty and stability and success and so much opportunity for you so it kind of feels like that's less possible with the naturopathic medicine route than the MD or DO route as far as job opportunities go and average income and scope of practice and licensure so that's the only thing that's really holding me back from taking the natural naturopathic route but if it weren't for that I would be like hands down yes I love all things herbs like I want to be in the garden I want to be around like-minded people and be in a beautiful state and the application process is so much smoother that's that's like the number one thing honestly because your girl's trying to get out of the MCAT I was like praying to God I was manifesting like a year a year and a half ago like please let me get out of the MCAT don't make me do it like I will do anything to avoid the MCAT which you would think like you're going to medical school just get this one test over with 
<sighs> See, it gives me anxiety just thinking about it. <laughs> but the other day when I was learning about the limitations of a naturopathic doctor license, I was like, maybe, maybe I could get myself to take the dang thing and get if it meant that the outcome was going to be, was going to help me accomplish my dreams and be able to help people the way that I want to help people and be able to support myself and my life financially and my fa future family financially in the ways that I dream to. Okay. Okay, so let's just summarize. Part of me is like, with the natural, let's just say besides naturopathic route, <laughs> okay? With being a naturopathic doctor, I just see myself, I'm like, any limitations, I can push through. Like, I can conquer it. I am not intimidated. I'm not worried. I know my work ethic. I know my people skills and my passion. And everything works out with the right intentions. That's kind of how I see naturopathic medicine. I'm like, I could make it work. I truly could. But then I see going to MD or DO school as I won't have to try so hard. Like MDs and DOs are like if you're if you're an MD, you're good. Like job opportunities are endless. Like pay is good. You have the credibility. You can really do whatever you want, honestly. And, and it's rightfully earned. So after four years of school, do I want the smooth promising route or do I want a route that might have to make me work harder even after school to build a good reputation and business for myself. Now for naturopathic medical school, I'm like, I think that it would be easier. Not in the sense that the curriculum's easier. I never mean that because naturopathic doctors are legit and they go through such intense training and they're amazing. And it's definitely not easy at all. It is just as grueling as conventional medical school. However, I am so passionate about herbs and nutrition and exercise and um, homeopathy and mental health. So I feel like I just know myself. If I'm learning physiology and biochemistry in relation to those topics, I'm just gonna be like star student, like, hello, I'm ready for class and like begging to like stay after longer and take more notes. And that just sounds so fun. And imagine being in school with all people who have like a similar mindset to you. It's just like friends everywhere. And there's gardening and you're out in nature and just the atmosphere and the mission of naturopathic medicine is about holistic health. So that just kind of gives me this impression that they care about their students enough to really prioritize um, student well-being and not push them over the edge versus MD and DO school, I hear nightmare stories. Like I hear that the students are pale and that they don't sleep and that they become depressed and they're anxious and they just work all the time. And I don't know if that's true, but if it is, you're highly sensitive, um, emotional, balanced gal would not survive. I just wouldn't. I don't care if it's four years, six years, two years, one year of my life. I couldn't do it. It's not worth it to me and I'd rather take the naturopathic route even if it met more limitations later on. However, I have also heard that MD and DO school works really hard to pass their students and a lot of the schools are just pass or fail. So as long as you're passing, you're good. And I'm like, I could do that for sure. But it's a lot of pharmaceuticals and it's a lot of uh, just not the fun stuff that naturopathic medicine has to offer in the curriculum. So it's a tough decision. It's really tough. And for anyone watching this, if you are in a similar situation and trying to decide, like, just know you are not crazy for thinking so hard and feeling like it's so hard to get answers because it is. Not only is naturopathic medicine a newer field of medical school um, and less talked about, but it's also just, it's less known about. And so a lot of people just think like, oh, that's, that's not a real doctor and they just don't know. 
versus nowadays a lot more people are seeking out naturopathic medicine but those are usually the people that are very against the conventional medicine side and so it's very polar and it's really hard to find people in the middle like myself and maybe like you who are just educated on both sides and are trying to make a rational decision that's going to benefit you and navigate all of these questions that come up. So I hope that I can be kind of a middleman for you on your journey and just know that it is tough. You're not alone. I feel alone, honestly. That's why I'm making this video because I feel so alone. I have like a couple friends who know about both sides and I'm so blessed that I can go to them. I have a scheduled um, conversation with them on the phone uh, today, later on. And I'm also going to talk to my dad about the pros and cons and try to pick his brain, even though he's uh, a little bit biased towards the right side, <laughs> conventional medicine. So just really trying to get feedback. Um, but I'll keep you posted and um, I know that it's in God's hands. I know that I will be divinely guided. So even though I find myself crying and feeling heavy and emotional and just lost and confused, I pick myself up and I and I just trust God and I know that I'll look back on this video one day and be like, wow, it all worked out. So And so will you. So will you. It, everything works out how it's meant to. But it's tough in the moment. It feels real. It feels real, guys. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching and supporting this journey and for taking the time out of your day to do some research and try to make the best decision for you. And um, I'm always here to support you. If anyone else is going through the same thing or just has questions about naturopathic medical school or uh, conventional medical school, please reach out. I feel like I know so much about both by now that I could help anyone get through admissions, questions, and such. So yeah, never hesitate to reach out. Mwah! Sending you so much love. Bye.